What's going on, guys? I hope you enjoyed watching that Red Bull uh, thing, the PR. Whoa, whoa! What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we have more of a PR workout video. I'm sorry for missing a day on Monday. Um, I just didn't have a video. I'm really sorry. But today, we are back with a brand new video. And today, we are going to go over Red Bulls and something that I've never tried before, uh, weight wise, to put on a bar 200 kilos. Uh, it's going to be a little bit later in this video, a couple minutes to go, but we want to make sure we warm up well. Rec pulls are a great thing uh, to do if you don't want to do deadlifts. Um, it's a great uh, start, like it's like uh, the half of the movement pretty much. This is pretty much more focused on the back. Um, this set, you can see, I didn't have wrist reps with me because I didn't really know I was going to be rec pulling. Uh, but I was playing with my grip a little bit, uh, seeing what works best and what felt best. But later on in the video, my, I tell you guys that a friend of mine um, had some wrist reps with him so I could use those. Uh, but I'm just gradually chilling and um, moving up in weight, like 135, 155, 175, uh, all the way up to 225 and then all those numbers. Um, going up in weight, going down in reps. Um, I think this is 120 kilos. I'll just keep it in kilos because I don't know for sure how much everything is in pounds. But this is um, 120 kilos, which um, this is great. I wasn't I wasn't sure uh, what I had to expect since it was such a long time since I did any rec pulls or deadlifts uh, for that matter. So, um, but what you can see here, I do have a belt on, and as you can see, before every rep, I make sure my back is back up straight, and I really focus on having a back straight and a neutral neck position uh, except for the last side that was a grinder a little bit um, that was my leg, neck was a little bit messed up but other than that before every rep i reposition myself make sure my back is all arched and i flex my abs so my belt is extra tight and i can lift it up so this is um, 315 uh, this was quite easy I think this I did this for three reps uh, because I wanted to save energy and this felt really good so I, I was trying to see how far I could go and I went up 10 kilos on a, each side so 20 kilos in, in total every single set after this so these three sets easy work now we are moving on to 160 kilos which is um, I used to deadlift 160 uh, back in the day when I deadlifted a lot, uh, but this is obviously red pulls is a lot less heavy uh, because it's half of the movement, but still it's quite heavy. As you can see here, I have my wrist wraps, so I have two overhand grips, which is obviously better. Um, and I am going to be talking a little bit after this clip, so I will be leaving you a little bit, but this was three reps that felt so, so good. So I figured let's go heavy on this one. Yo, I'm in the gym right now and uh, we're doing red pulls. I just showed you a couple sets. Um, and it's been a while since I did rec pulls and deadlifts in general and uh, my friend over here in the gym He got me some wrist wraps. So uh, we're gonna go for a 405 rep pull I've never tried it before. I don't think uh, Looks kind of look kind of beast with four plates on the bar on each side, which looks kind of crazy But uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get it. I don't know. I really hope we do get it So yeah um, 405 first time ever. I think I tried that First one, fucking easy. I was like, damn, I'm gonna try a second one. Damn, easy. Flew up. And now I'm just gonna let you watch the 200 kilo and watch what I tell myself after I fail the first time. Listen. So for the first time ever in my life, I did 200 kilos on a bar, right pull, for one. Kind of kind of filled the first try, but I was like, I got this. And then I did it. I'm not sure why the explosiveness came the second try, but it feels good. Let's uh, move on to the next exercise because we're done here. Then we are back and we are finishing off this back exercise or back workout. I just only did two repetitions because the first one was such a hard one on my body. I felt like I couldn't do too much more after that. So I decided to go for a um, straight arm pull um, with a cable for the lats. Uh, we're gonna 
you know, squeeze through the elbows with this one. Make sure we are all the way stretched at the top. Make sure to hold it down when squeezing. And uh, you get a great feeling in the lower part of the lats, especially uh, in my opinion. Uh, you feel it very, very great in like the Christmas tree area of the lats. And here you can see a little bit of a flex. The flex before and after is more like sort of muscle memory always stays there. It's also for the camera a little bit to flex and see how, how wide I am. But still, it's like a very great way to like um, get the muscle, mu uh, my muscle memory going. Um, which helps you target the, the muscle that you are hitting with the exercise better. So um, I really like to do that. But I did this three or four sets of eight to ten repetitions. Um, as, you, as I said, again, two exercises only for back because the first one was so heavy. But thank you so much for watching. What's going on, guys? I hope you enjoyed watching that rec pull uh, thing, the PR. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Um, but today is Valentine's Day, and I, I decided to do something fun on Instagram today. Valentine's Day is like super commercial and everything, so it's not like... I really celebrate it, but um, I got my girl a little rose because, I mean, it's my girlfriend, it's Valentine's Day, it's, it's a cute little thing, it's nothing, it's nothing crazy, but like it's just a cute little rose. She'll be coming here after her work, um, so I won't be able to get that on this video, unfortunately, but um, a lot of people do want to say something to their crush or like never really, you know, are too afraid to say something. So I figured I will follow everybody who sends me a, either like a screen recording or a screenshot of them telling their crush that they're into them or they want to go out on a date with them. And actually a lot of you guys already did it, which is amazing. Um, like one, this is one guy has a date tonight, which is great. Uh, he has a fucking date. Um, so awesome. So I'm super, super excited. Do that, dude. Do that. Show me proof on Instagram. I'll follow you. I swear. Second thing, I got this amazing package today uh, from my friend Face Sensei because, as you all know, um, maybe you don't, but maybe you do. Um, I used to run Face Fitness with Sensei, and we had like 170,000 subscribers, and we achieved the 100,000th. Um, plaque from YouTube as you can see here and I got it finally Sensei finally sent it to me Dude, I am so proud of this. I'm super super proud of this because It looks just I don't know. It's just amazing and it's gonna go on that wall right there next to the girl next to the jerseys It's gonna go right there. I'm super excited. So um, yeah um, Other than that, I don't really have a lot to say maybe we can call Sensei because he sent it to me. Maybe we can prank him a little bit. Let's let's see if I, if I can call him. Let's prank him. I, I think he's in the dojo, but I don't know. Hopefully he picks up. Oh, he's in a meeting right now. So hopefully before this video goes up, uh, I will be able to call him. I really want to prank him saying it's like all broken up and stuff. <laughs> uh, so hopefully um, we can call him. If not, then uh, maybe next video. I will definitely record it once. He calls me, but yeah. Um, now I need to clean my room and edit this video because my room is a mess and Vera is coming over uh, after her work. And Champions League is on tonight. Real Madrid versus PSG. I'm excited. Show me proof on Instagram and I will follow you. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.